Thank you. Today, the U.S. plays Iran in the World Cup. Both countries need a victory to make it to the next round of the competition, the knockout round. Iran continues to call for the U.S. to be disqualified from the World Cup after the U.S. Soccer Federation tweeted an altered picture of their flag. KSHB 41 News reporter Danielle Leone live for us this morning at Power and Light, where hundreds of soccer fans will be watching this match later this afternoon. Danielle, the Iranian state affiliated media says that tweet broke FIFA rules and the USA should be kicked out of the competition. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, Taylor and Lindsay. I'm actually standing in front of the Iranian flag, which is displayed here at Power and Light. It's the green and red flag with the Islamic emblem in the middle. And that tweet that we've been talking about did not feature that emblem. And a spokesperson for Team USA says it was to show their support for the woman in Iran who continued to fight for basic human rights. Now on Twitter, just like Taylor said, Iranian state media did voice their concerns and called on FIFA to disqualify Team USA saying this goes against uh, rules that FIFA set in terms of discrimination. They said the U.S. violated the dignity of their country and is calling for them to be suspended for at least 10 games as well. Now, we did talk to a political science professor from Park University, and he says ultimately it's hard to predict how this match will impact international relationships between Team USA and Iran, but he does think that athletes and athletic organizations will continue to voice their political opinions, and here's why. Want to talk about kneeling during the anthem? Whether you want to talk about, you know, um, the 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 Black Lives Matter protests that we've seen in the NBA, and, and I, I just don't think it's possible to separate uh, sport and politics because athletes, you know, have political views like the rest of us, and they have a, a platform, um, you know, to express them. And Park University is planning on holding a public discussion on this topic ahead of today's match. It will start around 12, and today's match between Team USA and Iran will kick off at 1 o'clock. Reporting in Power and Light, I'm Danielle Leone, KSHB 41 News. And that discussion, as she mentioned, is open to the public, so that goes on this afternoon. We'll, you can find more details about that, I believe, on KSHB.com.